Hi, I'm uh, Thadi Mohan. I'm a consultant and clinical professor at the Amrita Institute of Medical Sciences and Research. It's a tertiary hospital in Kochi in Kerala. The planning that goes into uh, executing a robotic surgery is very precise and very extensive. I think when we are doing such a technically demanding surgery such as a joint replacement where we want uh, the joints uh, to survive at least for 25 years or maybe more, it's extremely important that the joint or uh, the implant is placed uh, very precisely uh, and very perfectly and it will vary with every patient. So personalized planning which is possible uh, with a CT scan uh, through the MAKO system is extremely good. Not only that, we can get uh, the joint balancing perfectly. The bone preparation is also very precise so that the joint uh, implant fits uh, very well um, in any patient. Unfortunately, this technology is uh, new to India. It, though it's been uh, uh, around in the US and Australia for many, many years, uh, the system that has come to India is the only one of its kind and it's the first which has uh, now come to Amrita Institute. Insurance companies in India have not yet got around uh, to doing joint replacement robotically. So there are many insurance companies which don't recognize this as a valid way of uh, doing joint replacements. So I think many insurance companies will have to add this to their list. For example, I know the ESI does not have a clause uh, which says robotic joint replacement. They, they are used to only the manual joint replacement. But however, the ECHS, which caters to uh, Army veterans, has this uh, the clause and they have recognized it and they are uh, uh, sanctioning it for the patients to have it done. So I think uh, the medical insurance uh, companies uh, in India have to uh, recognize this and add it onto their list. That way more patients can benefit from it. Surprisingly, the learning curve uh, did not uh, take me very long and I know from uh, the experience of other surgeons as well that the learning curve is uh, quite steep. It uh, hardly takes 10 cases before you get to know how to handle the robot and how to do the bone preparation. To give you an example, in uh, manual jig-based surgery, you, one has to do at least 50 to 100 joint replacements before you can get uh, good at it. Whereas the robotic uh, replacements are much more easier that way and uh, the learning curve is, is much more uh, shorter. I'm very happy uh, the way that I now plan my joint replacements thanks to uh, the CT-based platform of the MAKO system. I also know that thanks to robotic surgery, my soft tissue dissection is much less. The bone is conserved. You don't have to take off too much bone. Uh, so the post-operative pain, uh, bruising, swelling uh, is all much lesser for the patient who undergoes a robotic replacement. We are trying now to reduce our uh, hospital stay also thanks to that. On an average, uh, manual, uh, uh, you know, conventional jig-based surgery patients uh, used to go home in about uh, five to six days, which is now coming down. And we are aiming for three days uh, for a robotic surgery patient. We are still not completely there. Some patients can go home in three days, but others still take about four days. But certainly we are aiming for three days stay. My practice has definitely changed after robotic surgery in the sense that now I'm doing more of uh, partial knee replacements, which I never used to do earlier. I know that when I'm doing uh, uh, partial knee replacements, that is unicompartmental or patellofemoral or bicomp uh, total, I mean, uh, uh, partial knee replacements, I know that I'm doing it technically perfect. 
That is thanks to uh, the city-based platform. Uh, in that sense, uh, I'm doing more of uh, partial needs, which I was not doing earlier. Also, there is no guesswork involved when you're doing uh, with robotic surgery. I know exactly how I'm placing every component. All the data is captured. I know that I can sleep better and the patient also can sleep better knowing that uh, the joint that has been placed in his or her body has been put in with the latest perfect technology in the best way possible. I think uh, the first thing they have to do is recognize that now joint replacement can be done robotically. They have to add that clause to their list of surgeries uh, when they sanction, uh, uh, you know, the medical insurance to the patients. And they should probably initially allow for uh, slightly uh, 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 costlier surgery. I'm not saying that uh, it has to be phenomenally costlier, but it is definitely uh, a fantastic technology which the patient will have access to. Uh, and uh, in order to achieve or in order to get the privilege of such a uh, wonderful technology, insurance companies have to understand and uh, make it possible uh, for the patient. More and more companies have to uh, plan this with the government and make it possible. Mm -hmm.